I get you? Um, I'll have what he's having. You got it. It's damn hot out there, huh? Uh, yeah, it is. You don't look very familiar. You from around here? Used to be. Grew up a few blocks away. I live in LA now. But I came back for my dad's funeral, which is later today. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Don't I look like a horse's ass? Ah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. There's no way. Sure feels weird though. You know, my dad was always, you know, I've always seen him invincible. Even now, it seems like unbelievable, you know? I mean, he was always such a scrapper. Going after this cause and fighting for the underdog. Huh. Sounds like a hell of a guy. So he was a um Activist? Or a uh, uh, champion of causes? Yeah. Yeah, he was. Well, it all started back in 2011. Uh, 21 years ago? I guess, right? Uh, my sister Darcy was a part of the Occupy Wall Street thing. Came out of the park in downtown New York, living like a hippie something my dad could relate to because he was a part of the sit-in at the Gulf War. God, he used to go on about that story. Anyway, there was a dust-up with the cops. Pepper spray, billy clubs. One of the cops wrapped Darcy on the head, cracked her skull. A couple weeks later, she suffered a brain embolism and died. Wow. Yeah, my dad was just never the same after that. <clears throat> I was just a little kid, maybe four or so. I got a little older and I saw that my dad was getting into things like protests and activist groups. And I actually learned to hate Darcy. I hate your sister. Shit. Wow. You guys had it rough. I remember my cousin got arrested once. Yeah, they didn't keep her very long though. She was out in a few months. And, um, never did anything like that again. I see this stuff all the time on the news. People getting beat with batons, shot with rubber bullets and shit. I don't understand how Big Brother gets away with this kind of stuff. We're citizens. We have rights. Yeah. No, that's only part of it. My dad died because his body gave out. He was slapped around and put in jail where he was starved half the time because he wouldn't give up anyone for the cause. So he tried brainwashing him, giving him drugs and treatments. I saw a lot of shit go down. Back then, I thought he was just being an ass. All of my friends' dads were normal, you know? They didn't go around raving that the government was a fraud when I'd go to visit them. How old was he when he passed? Uh, 68. Died of a massive heart attack. The doctor said it was because his body just gave out from years of abuse. I know I would be pissed. Aren't you pissed? <laughs> Let me tell you what. First they killed his little girl. Darcy was the light of his life. So when she died, he got so depressed and angry all the time that my mom left him and me. I had to take a back seat to his rage at her death. You see what I mean? Here I am, just a kid, trying to gain the approval of a man whose main concern was to hurt the government that killed his daughter. How'd you find out? Uh, the coroner's office called and said they needed a family member to come down and identify and release the body for cremation. I hired a pastor to say a few words just in case some of his activist friends showed up at the service. You know, I hear about 
this kind of stuff a lot. <laughs> a lot. You remember when you had to be a terrorist for the government to lock you away for no reason? Or kill you dead? Did you know that today, a cop can come in here and shoot you in the head for speaking out against the government openly? I remember when we used to have due process. Hell, today you have to toe that little line or take a bullet. I don't understand where everything went to shit. Your dad went out there and did all of that and it still came down to this. This is not right. Is it? Fucking sucks. You know, sometimes I think that it'd be good just to pick up where dad left off and take it to these cops. I know a bunch of people in LA. I bet they would be more than willing to take up signs and protest against what this nation has become. Exactly. We could do this. Yeah. It'd be hard to get the guns. But if we could, we could really make a difference. Shit, somebody needs to take a stand. <laughs>